Okay, guys, it's that time again. I got my Lit Joy Magical subscription in. Lit Joy Crate. It has um, classic literature books. It has young adult book subscriptions. And then it has this Lit Joy Magical, which is all Harry Potter themed goodies. Wizards Tournament is the theme this month. This box runs at 55 a quarter. You do have to pay for shipping on top of that. Um, I do have a 20, a oh, five off link. If you guys want to sign up to Lit Joy Magical subscription, I'll put it down below. The link to sign up with my $5 off link. Let's look at the box. Wizards Tournament, so uh, Goblet of Fire. Here's the dragon, of course. And the egg. The water, the shark head. That was, um, that was, oh, that um, Durst, Durston kid, the Quidditch player. Durston. I've gone blank on that school. And then here we have got the winter ball. Of course, um, <laughs> his, his dress, his dress robes were hilarious. And then Fleur de la Clore in the winter ball. The Sphinx inside the maze. And on the bottom, it looks like it's the Triwizard Cup. Let's open it up and see what we got. Yeah, Ron in those dress robes was hilarious. The Goblet of Fire is probably one of my favorite books in the series. This is what it looks like when you open it up. There is usually um, a guide, I thought, but I'm not seeing one. That's strange. I don't have a product guide. That's strange. Usually it's pretty elaborate. Okay. I guess we'll just go over it. Maybe they're shipping. Maybe they had problems with the printer or something or just left mine out. I don't know. We'll just start going through it. There's always artwork of various kinds in here and this is really cool. We have the Mer people. It feels velvety. It's textured. And on the back, information. Mer people, minority of magic classification. About, merfolk are a legendary and mysterious half human, half sea creature, aquatic race. It's telling all about the mer people. Best known for the Black Lake mer people colony helped prepare for the 1994 Tri Wizard Tournament. A clue recorded in the Mer people's native tongue was placed in a golden dragon egg for the champion to figure out in preparation for the second task. This is really cool. I'll, I'll definitely um, probably, I like to put like memorabilia like this, like in the book at the parts that it's re referencing. Just as little treats as you're reading. Then we have another card stock art of the Goblet of Fire with all of the contestants. Cedric Diggory, Flora de la Clor, Harry Potter, and Victor Crumb. <laughs> Gone blank on my characters. Yeah, that's a good um, to put in the book too. Extra. Also, we have Wow, this is a very elaborate um, bookmark. It's a Yule Ball bookmark. It's metal. It's a little tassel. Let's take it out of the cellophane. 
this will definitely have to go in my gob Goblet of Fire book, book four. I'm actually rereading them, the series right now. I'm on Prisoner of Azkaban as we speak. If you've never read the books, you've just watched the movies, you've got to read the books. They're 110 times better, and they the movies you know couldn't include everything. They movies left a lot of stuff out, a lot of characters out, a lot of events. The books a whole new world. I love the bookmark. Metal it says Yule Ball on it. Love it. So far, so good. Next, we have an enamel pen. This is uh, um, Rita Skeeter's and Among Us. The creature she turns into that hides out and spies on everybody and they don't know she's there. It's her beetle. It's got her glasses on. It's doing her... Um, and yeah, it's in the jar that Hermione ends up putting her in and keeping her in. I love that too. I'm loving this box, y'all. Oh, we have the Cedric Diggory and Potter Stinks pen that flashes the different support Cedric Diggory, the real Hogwarts champion. And then it's supposed to, there it is, Potter Stinks. <laughs> Potter really stinks, it says. Absolutely freaking love this. It's a pen. You know, like a... Parker's down there enjoying things as I throw them. My cat. Next. We have... Voldemort, the Goblet of Fire, that, um, or the Champion Cup that's turned into a Porky. Then we have our Champions. This is just the cardboard box that this um, item's in. They go all out with their packaging and designs. Sword of Gryffindor to open this. It's a maze. It's like a wooden puzzle maze. There's a little silver ball in there. You know how you move it around. Try to get it across the board. This is to represent, of course, the maze in the Trial Wizard Tournament, the last event. Trying to get the glare off of it. This is um, in wood. Kind of a flimsy. This is plastic. They're cute. Yeah, I'm horrible at these things. I'm horrible at these things. <laughs> okay. Next. This box has all of the Mer People event. Come find, which we have what you seek, a thing where they took all of the most important people from them. And it's showing all of the contestants with their underwater witchery. I have a pretty good idea what this is gonna be just from some hints they dropped previous. I try not to look at spoilers, but um, I hope I'm right about my guess. Oh, 
Oh, okay. No, I was not right about my guess. This is a total surprise to me. Let's get this start unwrapping this stuff. We have a little lid, a little ceramic lid. I think it's gonna be a teapot. I think it's gonna be a teapot. Oh, wow. It's got Hogwarts scenery on it. Is that um, the like monster octopus looking thing? See it? And then there's owls, and of course, um, Hogwarts. There's like a lip or an edge around. Aha! That's why there's a lip or an edge around it. It also has a teacup, y'all. Wow. Wow, and it has our wizards, our champions doing their underwater event. It's a ceramic teacup. Okay, now this ridge, it all fits together like this. This is really cool. Wow. This is a stunner item, that's for sure. There's more, there is more. We have a saucer. Shows the mer people and the underwater creatures. Gosh, wow. This is definitely the stunner piece of this box. I'll have to make room for that on my Harry Potter shelves for sure that's super cool wow okay there's one more thing this isn't a very nice box i hope this is what my guess was okay come see us where our voices sound it's a very nice box It's the freaking egg. It's the freaking egg, y'all. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. It's in this, all this cushioning. It's metal, it's quite weighted. Feel like it might. Okay, anyway, here's the egg. There's that ring light circle wouldn't be on it. It's got a little stand. I definitely feel like it comes apart. It's clacking around. Okay, it opens. It does open its magnetic closures. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes, it has magnetic closures. So you just kind of, kind of, got to pop it apart. This is the best box I've ever gotten from them. That's the box. That's everything. Wow. Wow, they outdid themselves. Two stunner pieces in this box and all the rest of the extras I love, save for this maze. I'm not crazy about this maze. I love the rest of it. It's not a bad item, it's just not my jam. <sighs> Be still my heart. This is my favorite thing in the box. 
this is amazing. We got the egg. Oh my gosh. This is my second favorite. The teacup saucer and teapot. All ceramic. And I love these other things as well. The pen, the Cedric Degree and Hot Potter Stinks pen. Fabulous. The Rita Skeeter pen, fabulous. The bookmark, fabulous. And then our artwork, V Cool. I'm pumped for this one. Definitely, I think, one of my favorite boxes for sure. And I've, they've, they've sent out some great stuff before. Um, some of my favorite pieces, most of my favorite pieces are probably from this box of my collection. What do you guys think? Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you like to watch unboxings. I'll see you at the next one.